This is Eric with CrossFit Encino again. Uh, this video is going to be about how do I, if I'm coming off of an injury or I've been injured recently, um, how do I know if CrossFit is going to be appropriate for me or if it will ever be appropriate for me? So this explanation uses our CrossFit Encino methodology for how we uh, explain this to, to clients. And it's not universal, but it's pretty thorough. Um, basically, the most important part of knowing if CrossFit is going to be appropriate for you if you're coming off of an injury is first understanding what happens to the body when there's been a trauma, right? So when there's been an injury or a trauma, uh, let's say a broken knee or a broken ankle or a torn uh, ligament or muscle at the ankle or knee, well, the brain feels a lot of pain. It gets a lot of pain sensation from that area. And it's used to that over a prolonged amount of time. And what happens is it starts to condition itself and protect itself by trying to avoid that part of the body. This is a very gross explanation, by the way, um, meaning it's, it's not specific and it's not scientific. Um, it starts to avoid those areas of the body, and what ends up happening as a byproduct is certain muscles in those areas that have been affected by trauma tend to become underused and maybe even dormant. And then we end up with all kinds of muscular compensations as a result. And oftentimes, recovering from an injury is more about dealing with the muscular compensations that arise than it is about solving the pain at the specific location. Oftentimes, the pain that happens at that location is because of the compensations that arise after the injury. So in CrossFit and at CrossFit and Sino, what we really need is we need a, a very thorough assessment at the beginning to determine the scope of the injury and where the muscular compensations are. And then B, uh, we need to create a very detailed um, resistance training program or corrective program that helps the body relearn how to use dormant musculature and rebuild motor patterns that are now dominated by compensatory muscles. Because certain muscles are responsible for certain movements, if we're using the wrong muscles, all of a sudden the movement is not always done correctly. Right? And then before we put you into high intensity exercise, we want to have those, um, those tasks covered. Uh, corrective exercise programs, some strength training, rebuilding motor patterns, understanding where the compensations lie, and understanding where the pain is. And then we can slowly progress you into CrossFit. And so any CrossFit gym that's going to appropriately work with somebody with injury needs to demonstrate these capabilities beforehand and explain the roadmap or path that they're going to advise to get you into CrossFit, and then slowly ease you into CrossFit using modifications. So that's how we do it, um, and that's what I'd recommend. Those are some questions you can ask at CrossFit gyms to determine if they're gonna be uh, successfully and uh, safely equipped to handle your injury.